Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here. Uh, today I'm back with another episode of Gaming on the Go, where I take a look at solo play games that come in travel size boxes. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Erbion. This was the second game in Shoddy Torby's Oniverse. Uh, it came out two years after Onirun. Um, it is the only game in the Oniverse that does not have a square box version, um, and from all the discussion I've seen, I don't think it's going to get one, but we'll see. Uh, Urbion came out in 2012, and it was actually originally named Equilibrian, uh, but the name was too close to that of another game, so they decided to change the name to Urbion. I think it works better. Um, in this case, the reason behind it is because we're uh, in charge of districts, um, dream districts, and we're trying to create a balance in these dream districts between the Sogne and the Incubi. Um, they want to exist harmoniously, and to do so, they have to uh, create a balance where their power number, which is right here and here, uh, comes out to a zero. Um, during the uh, beginning of the game, you're going to put down four of these districts, and each district has a symbol in its upper corners, actually two symbols in its upper corners that represent different elements. There is fire, water, earth, and air. Um, the symbol shape represents whether it's Sogne, which is the round circles, or Incubi, which is the cloud looking shape. I'm not really positive what they were going for on that, on that one. Um, these elements are really important for the game, but when you're first setting up, it doesn't matter. Once you've played the four districts, you're going to take two cards from the dream deck and you're going to populate the districts um, accordingly, uh, with the Sogne obviously on the right side and the Incubi on the left side. In this case, I end up with two Sogne on the top district, two Incubi on the next district, and then one of each in the, uh, pre the, the next two districts after that. The symbol that shows up on these cards does not matter um, because this is just the initial setup. Afterwards, you're going to draw a hand of four cards. This is where the symbol comes into consideration. Um, during the course of the game, you're going to do one of two things with these cards. You're either going to play the card to the districts or you're going to discard the card. When you're playing the card to the districts, you have to follow certain rules. Uh, the first and foremost is that he will only go to a district, he or she will only go to a district where uh, his element is showing. In this case, the earth districts, and if you notice, we have three of those. Um, he's also only ever going to join on the side that is his. So in this case, the Sogne is going to join the Sogne side. And the last rule is that he cannot join a district that has three cards in it already. So any district that has three cards on either side cannot have any more cards. If you choose to discard the card, you're going to have two effects that you can choose from. The first one is to take an already balanced district or all already balanced districts and score them. So essentially you just discard the dreams that were already uh, occupying that district and then uh, set them aside for yourself and then replenish. Um, the other option is you can discard the dream card to uh, swap cards in, in these districts. This is another instance where the symbol in the upper corners does not matter to the district. Uh, when they're swapping, it does not matter. So I could take this Sogne and I could swap it with one of the Sogne up here, thus switching the amount of power that is in both districts. Um, and, and vice versa, I can also take this Incubi and swap it with this. Um, the only rule is that, you, again, you cannot take an Incubi and switch it to the side of the Sogne. It just can't be done. Once you've chosen whether you want to play the card or discard the card, in this case we'll go ahead and play it, you need to replenish your hand. You should always have four cards in your hand. Say you draw one of these, which is the Chaos. The chaos is here to cause bad things. They just want to create a bigger imbalance than there already is. Um, they never do anything good, and you can never hold on to them. Once they are drawn, you have to immediately play them and then replenish your hand again. 
They have three different effects that you can do, the first of which is to add them to one of the districts. The rules for this one is a little bit different. You'll notice that they can go to any district, but you'll also notice that they have two sides. This is because they will go to the district, or they will go to the side of the district that has the most power. So if you look up here, we have two for the Sogne side, and we have four for the Incubi side. So he would flip upside down and add himself to the Incubi side, thus making it an eight and causing a larger imbalance in the district. If I were to do it up here, he would stay right side up, and he would join here and add even more imbalance to the Sogne side. You can, however, discard them, but again, they don't do anything good. So, if you discard them, there's two effects. The first effect is, if you so choose, that you discard all dreams from an already balanced city, meaning that you would literally have to start over from the beginning. The second effect is to look at the top four cards of the deck, discard any dream cards there that are Sogne or Incubi, and resolve any chaos cards that you come up on. In the early game, that can be devastating. Late game, not so much. You still have to be careful. Because once your main deck is out of cards, you lose. The only way to win the game is to collect all 12 districts. That is Urbion. Pretty simple to learn. Um, it is very hard to master. Uh, I, I've played five games so far, and I've won two of them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is definitely better than my record with Oni Room, which is still zero. Um, but it's still a very challenging game. It comes in a box this big. Card comparison, box comparison. So it's definitely travel worthy. You can fit it in your laptop bag. If you have cargo pants, it can literally fit in your pocket. Um, so it makes it easy to take onto trains, planes, car rides, wherever. Um, like I said, the setup is rel relatively easy. It doesn't take up a horrible amount of space, so also makes it travel worthy. The games don't typically last more than 30 minutes, so it's still faster, in my opinion, than Oni Room. Um, I did sleeve my cards. Uh, I will give you a forewarning. If you sleeve your cards, they will not fit in the box, and it's not because the sleeves make them taller, it's, which, which is a big problem too, uh, but it's because the sleeves make them wider and the box just doesn't have room for that. Um, another major downside is that this game is out of print. Um, to find this game, you're probably going to end up paying double or more than its original retail value. Uh, I paid $40 for this. I think it retailed for somewhere between $14.99 and $19.99. So that was double or more than double, um, but it was worth it, especially for the condition it was in. It's actually in really great condition with some edging, but not too not too bad. But it is out of print, so if you do find it for a decent price, I would pick it up just simply for you know length value. Um, and the game itself is fun. I really do enjoy playing this game. Uh, I think that's really it. Uh, I really, what I, I was expecting it to be a little bit more challenging because it did come second in line to Oni Room, um, but I think that if you look at all of Shoddy Torby's collection, uh, they all have their own unique challenge to it, and some may seem easier than others. Uh, Sylveon, at first when I started playing, it seemed, you know, easier than Oni Room, but I honestly think this was the least challenging of the group so far. Uh, but I, like I said, still really enjoyed it. Uh, it was worth picking up. It can fit into just about any bag. Uh, you're not lugging uh, some weighty behemoth with you. Um, just a really cool game. So that's it. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and uh, subscribe, like, and... Um, Peace.